Church bells and lost Christianus, just the wee tapas in there, it was lovely. Chicken wings and a kind of caramelised sauce, recommend it. So, let's take a wee wander, viewers. If you're new to Lost Christianus and you're staying here and you're maybe thinking, I quite fancy a wee day out, I'll go on the bus to Adeke, Las Americas, I'll go up north to Porto de la Cruz, anywhere like that, then walk with me. We're going to walk to the bus terminus. Now I've done quite a few videos showing where the bus terminus is. I don't think I've came from this angle. So I'm just going to quickly show you where I'm starting from. If you're staying in the hotel plaza, you will be right there. That's the Hotel Revlon Plaza, right there. So, further down this way, we've got Churchill, Starham and Gaul. Keep walking all the way down, you come to the promenade and the beach. But we're going to head up this way. A couple of different ways we can go. Let's just go down this way just now. Give you some advice about the bus as well. Advice which I've not followed, funny enough, but um, I'll let you know about it. That place is normally a lot busier. It's busy inside just now. Well's been a bit cloudy. I did actually feel a wee bit of spit of rain there, which is very unusual for me to be in Tenerife and it rains. It doesn't rain too often. So I'll take a wee wander up here. I maybe should have been up the other street, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I reckon it's going to take maybe. Let's see, 10 minutes maybe. We'll wait and see. A couple of wee tapas places come up here. We've got the Hideaway Bar on the right hand side. Another place I'd recommend if you're looking for some authentic um, Canadian tapas. Then there's a couple of places in Los Cristianas. There's quite a few places actually. There's not that many in a decade in Las Americas. Let me know in the comments if anybody can recommend a few. There's a the Hideaway. Unfortunately, there was a tragic accident years ago. I've talked about it before in other videos. This building collapsed next to it. So that's the hideaway. You can see it's pretty busy. And they've got a wee bit inside as well. Um, definitely would recommend it if you're... <laughs> you even there? <laughs> uh, I definitely recommend it if you're coming here. This is the wee mural they've done to unfortunately the people who lost their life here um, years ago when the building collapsed. It's really sad. So this part of Los Cristianos, quite easily, if you just stay down in the promenade, you won't really know what's up this end. We tattoo studio, we've also got a wee restaurant there. Random clothes shop there as well. So we're going to walk up to the bus station. The bus station is quite near the Funchal strip. Um, yeah, it's quite near the Funchal Strip and quite a lot of the bars that I go in around about there as well. So it's quite close to the Buddies Bar, just around the corner. You've got the Fox, you've got all those bars like Smiley's on the Funchal Strip, and you're not too far from the El Mirador Strip as well, like Taylor's, Dylan's, the Vault, all those bars. So the bus station is up the top, depending where you're getting the bus, there's other stops that you can, you can get them here as well. But most of the main connections are from the bus station at the top of Los Cristianos. So we're going to see how steep the hill is going up here. I would say it's steeper going up the other way if I walk right along the promenade, along to the Ar Arona Gran, and then climb the hill there. You'll see uh, I think it's a wee bit steeper. So this part, as you can see, is really quite residential feel. I've got a couple of videos coming from some side streets here, you'll see some things maybe you've not seen before. This is getting filmed in mid-February, or late February actually. The weather has not been great on this trip so far. We've been here three days and it's been cloudy, a wee bit windy. There's actually been a tiny bit of rain in a few days as well, just spitting, not much. So this is the part where it starts to get a bit hilly on the way up. Not really been up that end too much. I was in a phone shop there a few years ago, trying to sort a phone out. Um, 
there's not that much really to show up there. That's the side of a kind of big shopping complex as well. Round the side there's a Chinese shop that sells everything. So if you need chargers or anything like that, it's pretty cheap. Sun has just come out here. Now because I'm out for the day and I know from six o'clock onwards it gets a lot colder, I've actually got a wee fleece, a hoodie, tied around my waist and it's falling off. So I need to fix it viewers. Hold on, bear with me a minute. Hold on. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> you random kids play part if you're coming here with kids. If you are coming here with kids round the corner, five minute walk, you probably want to head to the Passerella Centre, go up the top. They've got Funland, they've got a kids play area, next door to the Attic Bar. So adults can just chill out, a bite to eat or a drink. Okay, so it's got a bit steeper. Don't know if the, the camera does it justice, but the gradient's quite steep. Not as steep as going round the other side, but so if you are going up to the bus station, going up this way, avoid the steeper hill. Might be something you want to consider. Should we cross here, viewers? Green man, it's on, let's cross. Lewinsky's over on the corner, the kids Matt Tanduri. You've seen the Mac Master doing a video in there. A couple of other places down the side here, Mr. Chen, Chinese. We're nearly at the bus station. It's not took us too long to get here. Oh hold on. We need to wait in the traffic viewers. If you're getting uh, the, the bus, there's always big massive queues at the wee ticket booth here. You're best buying the card, the, the wee white card. I've got three I've left in the house, I've not brought them on this trip. How stupid is that? But you're best buying the card and topping it up and then just when you go on the bus you just basically just tap it you don't have to queue for tickets you can pay the driver in most cases if you're going on long journeys let's say you're going up right up the road to Porto de la Cruz and you're planning to come back within 24 hours you're better buying a day ticket for 10 euros it's going to save you money nice wee place in there I think some of the remote workers go there as well. I've got another video telling you about a Friday night meetup with remote workers. If I remember, I'll leave a link at the end if you're interested in that. It's a cracking bar in Las Americas that I recommend. And every Friday there's about 40 people who work as digital nomads in uh, Tenerife. They meet up, share ideas, have a wee bit of food and drink. Just going to cross over to the bus station just in a second. English breakfast here. Six euros twenty, one of the more expensive ones, eh? We've got some random shops in there. I have done another video in there. I don't think any change, so probably won't do one this time. Let's head over to the bus station. You, at the time of filming, now you don't need masks. Now, I'm going to be getting a bus here to play a Parizo or Kalasavaki. Depends what one comes first. Play a Parizo and Kalasavaki, you can actually walk a coastal walk, it's about 20 minutes. And a day like this, it's quite a nice walk because it's not really that hot. If it's very, very hot, it can be a bit of a walk. Check this out. Okay, so that is us at the bus station. There's normally a big queue, I was here earlier on and the queue was right up to there. There's normally a big massive queue. So if you want information on that, there is an app. You can scan your, your phone and it'll, it'll bring up the Titsa kind of app. I don't know, for some reason I wasn't able to download it. But I think there's other apps you can download as well. So if you want any information on tickets, times and all that, you can just go and queue at the desk and go and speak to them. And then it's a case of just paying the driver normally or tapping your card when you get your bus card when you get it. So this effectively is where the bus station is. Now be aware if you're going somewhere uh, further away like Porta de la Cruz up in the north, the bus station stretches round the corner as well. So not all the buses leave from this bit, they also go from round the corner. 
So I was waiting in the bus to Porto de la Cruz, and I, and I quickly realised just before it, um, it went that the bus was actually leaving from around the corner, another stand. They've got stand numbers. So just be aware of that, make sure you're in the right place. I'm going to need to find out where the bus is going to play a Parizo or Kalasavaki. I don't even know, I haven't even checked yet. In case you didn't know, I've done many videos up in the Apollo Centre, going to see the guys at La Therese, and a few other places up there as well. You can pop in and see them. So you see the buses just going round the corner there? There's also a couple of stands round there as well. That's the Apollo Centre. Some nice wee bars, very affordable down the side there and at the back. I've done vid lots of videos going and see the guys in there. A couple of nice places to eat. So that concludes the tour of the bus terminus. How excited was that viewers? <laughs> Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Do me a wee favour if you're not yet already subscribed. It's free, doesn't cost in. Hit the wee subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. I need to go and figure out where I'm getting this bus from. Wish me luck. See you later.